Newbie reporting for duty with the MX-9, a sleeping beast of an OG SMG. So let's get into this and take a look at some of the numbers. Fire rate is okay at 740 rounds per minute, and the bullet velocity 300 meters per second. What does that do? It makes it subsonic, therefore there are no skulls when you kill an enemy. And the other benefit of this gun no tracer so those on the map can't see your bullets flying and the bullets don't lead them back to you if you look at the damage it's pretty hefty for a nine millimeter weapon headshot is 40 upper and lower torso 37 and then the legs are 35 and what does that mean if you mix one headshot into an upper or lower torso you're going to get a four shot kill and so we'll take a look at the timing. Also take a look at how I configured it. I dropped the effective damage range, which was good starting at 15.2. It's a one of the higher effective damage ranges for an SMG. So I had a little to give away and the minimum damage range also will fall. Let's have a look at the kill metrics. Four headshots to kill. Upper torso, lower torso, five. You can get it in the head four times. It's a 324 millisecond time to kill, which is an absolute good time to kill. But if you can mix in one headshot with the upper and lower torso shots, you will get that 324 millisecond time to kill. Otherwise, it's okay at 405. You're going to rely on the stealth of the gun, the no skulls, the no tracers to beat out other weapons that can kill faster. As far as recoil and performance, the gun does kick a bit and you can see that I configured it for recoil, for gun kick, for horizontal recoil, which is already outstanding, and vertical recoil, which is good, very good for an SMG. We made them even better, improving them significantly with the configuration. The performance, ADS of 200 is right in the middle of the SMGs. I thought I had a little bit to give away with my configuration. And like I said, we'll get into that in a second. Reload quickness, movement speed, they're all okay. And ADS movement speed, I would call it an outstanding at 3.3. I gave up one tenth of a meter per second, 3.2 of the configuration. And I keep talking about configuration. Let's have a look at it. The Trebusay break. And what does that do for us? It significantly improves the recoil. That's where I gave up the effective and minimum damage ranges. I figured 10% wasn't that much. I'm going to go with the 32 round mag and the 9 millimeter sub OP ammo, which gives me 75% flinch. The reason why I do that, I plan on taking this gun and using it at range. And if I'm using it at range and going against ARs, going against marksman rifles or even snipers, I wanna add that 75% additional flinch. The grip improves recoil and gun kick with no downsides. And finally, I had an extra slot, so I used the Mark III Reflector. Let's take this beast onto the field of honor and see what happens. Free for all on rust, and it starts with a gag. I love starting the day with napalm in the morning, gacking folks. That's from Apocalypse Now, I think. No. Was it Full Metal Jacket? No. Can't remember the name of that movie. Anyway, there's somebody taking a nap in the corner, in the sand. Maybe he's sunning. So this free-for-all started out well with the MX-9. And you can see that it is a laser. The fire rate compared to the Rival 9 is a little bit slower as is bullet velocity. But guess what? That bullet velocity keeps you off the map. No skulls. So I got the feeling that the enemies were befuddled. Take a look at time to kill best in headshots for the MX-9 versus Rival-9, and this is raw. This isn't configured. And uh, if you get one headshot in an upper or lower torso, you're gacking 
faster than the MX-9. As far as recoil, base recoil, better in general for the MX-9 except horizontal. That's why I configured it the way I did. I've configured it to be a laser. Aim down sight speed about the same. The rest of it is very, very close. Very mobile weapon. I was so shocked with the MX-9. Look at that long shot. I barely even had any recoil to control. And the guy was a semi-head glitch laying down. Where is he? Come back here. Come back. Whoop. Give him a pistol. Show them we love them. Maximum effort is a way to say I love you when you gack somebody. What does this guy do? He's sniffing his feet. He's probably high on the fumes. That's why it was such an easy gack. Look at that laser no recoil you can build this thing for no re recoil and the enemy is completely confused as to where the shots are coming from there are no tracers this is a significant advantage for the ms9 ms mx9 a significant there's out sunning himself he needs to put on a bathing suit bathing knickers Somebody falling off the pipe, no longer with us. And there's a victory. 30 kills, a, sn a Snickers victory. It's so satisfying. And I decided to take it to one more OG gun on an OG map. There's the Teal Nun. I don't know what she's doing. She's getting put to sleep. There's a headshot. Try for the upper torso and the head. That's a reason to make it a laser. That's a reason to control the recoil. Keep it in the torso. Try to move to the head. There's a turret. Look at that long distance kill. Just a laser. Turret's doing work. The teal nun gave me the VTOL. Let's put a fighter pilot out. Take care of this thing. And I get gacked off my merciless. I was seriously, seriously impressed with this weapon. It may make a permanent class for medium range maps. Small ma range maps, the advantage of no kill skull isn't quite as big, but on medium range, you combine no skulls with no tracers and covert sneakers and nobody knows where you're coming from there's a head gack there's the teal nun and she took me out but there's always next time where is that guy here he is in the corner that was a beautiful corner shot the finest we've seen just two more kills to go oh there's a headshot mixed with upper torso. Just eliminated that guy. Derezzed him. And there's another Snickers win. 30 kills. So satisfying. Overall, this gun is fantastic. I think it's worth a class slot or a consideration for everybody. And I can't say it enough. It's the lack of tracers and the lack of skulls. Please like and subscribe. Peace.